stop slacking today we're gonna do basically i guess like a little day in the life today kind of boring i don't know if, and all honesty the reason why i don't be filming too much is pretty much because i just feel like this stuff be boring but i was told you know just put the content out just do what you do you know um so first things first i had cut my hair this morning so i'm basically you know wrapping it up because I'm about to go do a run. If you don't know, I do try to pay attention to my health and stuff like that. Because um, for one, that's very important when it comes to business. But two, I just enjoy, you know, working out and stuff like that. So uh, I go to this thing called Hills for ATL. Um, they pretty much do it every Saturday of uh, each season. Now this first season, this is like my first season going, and I only been going for like a couple weeks, but I thoroughly enjoy it. And you know, I'm just go out there. Got a couple of friends coming out there today, like a couple of models, a couple of people from the gym. So we gonna go out there and have some fun. I really wanted to wear this. I ain't gonna lie. I just feel like this give like that. <laughs> so. But I don't know what shorts to wear with it. I felt like these could kind of go, but I don't know. I might switch. I wish I had some orange shorts. I might switch my shorts, but we'll see. Comment down below. Do y'all put y'all deodorant on before you put your shirt on or after? <clears throat> I put it on after I put my shirt on because Older. I put it on after because I feel like if I put it on before, like if I got a dark shirt and I pull the shirt down, it's going to get all on the shirt and I don't like that. I like being able to like, you know, have a clean shirt, clean clothes. If y'all don't know, y'all got to get this. Oh, let me show y'all. Y'all got to get this. If you want to smell good, if you want your skin to be moisturized, if you want it to glow, you need to get this. No diddy, this is not baby oil. <clears throat> and then also, this is a pro tip to all my dudes out there. This is like a super duper pro tip. You take some of that, that oil or lotion or whatever you got, you're going to take a cologne, but you got to take like a cologne that has a sweet scent. I like to use this one, Armani Code. You take the cologne that got a sweet scent, spray it in your hand and you mix it with the, the oil or the lotion or whatever, you mix it. And then boom, you just apply that bit. Now, I never used to do this. I just started doing it, but I've been getting a lot of compliments on um, my smell now that I do that. And then after that, I take like my regular scent, which is this Valentino. I take this and then I just spray it regular. So, you know, one on either side of the neck, one on the wrist. And you know, you don't really gotta go too overboard, but I be, wow. All right, so that's enough of that. I be going to the run club so I can find my wife, y'all. That's where all the fit girls be at. So, I'm about to um, get ready. Just finish getting ready, put my shoes on and stuff, and then I'll get back with y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I decided to switch the shorts up I don't know, I just wasn't feeling them. I felt like because I had the orange on and this, it would kind of match it. I don't know. 
but I am feeling these. They're a little bit more comfortable to run in anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and rock out with these shorts. Just some regular DSG shorts that I got from Dick's. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do before I leave is I'm gonna drink some of this tea. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of forgot about it. But I'm gonna try to, my bad. I forgot about it, but I'm gonna try to drink at least a little bit of it. It's kind of cold now. So basically this is, um, I tried the whole thing. Basically that tea has ashwagandha, it has moringa, it has lion's mane. Um, and those are just like the three kind of supplements that I use just because, you know, as a guy, those three are really important. Especially the, um, shit, especially all three of them. <laughs> um, but it is 9.34 right now. I had somebody that was supposed to come with me, but they flaked. So, I will be going solo. When I come back, I gotta clean up cause it's a little messy in here, but <clears throat> let me shut this light off, grab my key. I got everything else in the car, so I'm about to go ahead and head out. And I'll catch y'all at the run club. Hopefully I can record and stuff when I'm out there. It'd be kind of hard, because I ain't gonna lie, when I'm working out, I just want to work out. I don't really want to do all the recording, but I'm going to try to record some stuff for y'all while I'm out there. Um, and then we'll just see. We'll take it from there. Yes, sir, Ski. All right. We're about to get up out of here. Like, he, every time that we did a set, he would move the cones so that it would we would have to run further. I'm like, yeah, he tripping. So I feel like today he might be on that same kind of, same kind of vibe. I don't know why, but it's like, when the train is being on the bullshit, I don't know why sometimes I kind of like it. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't. Those be the best workouts though. All right, y'all boys. So we have arrived at the Kroger parking lot. This is where Hills is kept. So I'ma just, do like a little shot of my pre-workout real quick just so I could get a little bit more oomph when I'm running. You know, I need that little energy. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting on my friends right now before we, you know, get it popping. I like to run with people. I don't know. It just made me feel more motivated and stuff like that. So. All right. I'm not going to lie. This is the best pre-workout I ever used. It's by... Um, Seabum. If you're in the fitness world, you know what I'm talking about. His name is Seabum. Mr. Olympia, all that. Yo, his pre-workout? The flavor? Bam. It's called Seabum Raw. If you're not using that, that pre-workout, you're tripping. It's the best pre-workout out there. I really fuck with this camera though, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I really do. It just makes it like so much easier to vlog. Like I don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't gotta be so mindful. Like that just now, I would've had to been walking around with the camera. Let me call Dasha and see where she at. always on a damn call anyway oh let me call Tuesday see where Tuesday at maybe late I've been trying to get here early because I want to get parking and I want to get a good stretch in where you at what the fuck Nigga, bye. 
This nigga talking about he not coming. Why did you make all that noise acting like you was coming? Niggas, bro. Anyway, I'm about to um pack this stuff up, put it in my car, and then head over there. Let's do like a little take this off a little bit. So y'all can see. Let me stop tracking. Yeah, you know. You see the cut? I cut my own hair if y'all didn't know. But anyway, um, all right, let's go. Uh, so we are here for ATL. Now I'm about to go stretch before we get this running. So let's go. I barely run. I walk every day. But the running thing, I'll be trying to run. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tuesday coming in. No, nah, don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Why you stop? I was here. All right, y'all, that's the workout complete. We got Dashka in the cut. Light kind of bad, but Ooh. who cares? Come on, turn it away. Boom. Ooh. Got Dashka in the cut. How was it? Uh, it was really hard, but I'm glad I did it. You helped me. You pushed me. You did. I tried to keep up with you. Shit, I was that motherfucker dying. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I can't go slower than her. Cause then she gonna be like, nigga, you wasn't even on shit. First of all, you were right ahead of me when you did. We were next, neck, neck and neck, and then you got a little ahead of me, but I was on your ass, okay? You know what it was? What? I know what it was. When we had to run down them big steps. How was it? How did you run down them? I glided. I go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Cause when we got to them steps, I was like, okay, she behind me. And then we got to the top of the hill. I'm like, where the fuck she went at? I was still behind you. No, you did good though. Yeah. Both of us did good. <laughs> And then we got Jacorian in the back. Corin say, what's up? What's up? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, um, I guess the workout is done. We gonna go ahead and get a little clip. I guess everyone wants to get a clip and then we out of here, man. Let me show you what it's looking like. That's everybody over there that did the workout. It was fun, man, it was super fun. So if y'all in the Atlanta area, you already know what to do, man. Come to Hills for ATL. I'm telling you, you're not gonna regret it. It's so fun. It's a very good workout. And yeah, so we're gonna do some other stuff today. I'm gonna um, get back to y'all when we, you know, doing other stuff. So let's get it. Stay tuned. So that is a wrap on the run club. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the gun range just because I haven't been in a while and I kind of want to practice. So. Um, I might just wear the same shirt and change my shorts But if I do go y'all will see me if I don't go y'all won't see me y'all We just going with the flow on the vlog today, man <laughs> um, I do have a photo shoot later tonight, but it's more like a uh, It's more like a lifestyle kind of thing. It's shorty birthday So she just wanted to get some pictures for her birthday real quick So I am gonna bring out along with that um for that it's at nine o'clock. So just stay tuned man We having fun Honestly, I'm just so glad that y'all are here. If you're watching this vlog, I really appreciate you because y'all don't understand. It really takes a lot for me to just even get in front of the camera. Like the content that I make, all the information that I put out, it takes a lot for me to do that. Like I'm naturally not an extroverted person. I'm really an introverted person. 
So for me to have like invested in this this Osmo Pocket to be able to put the content out for y'all is really a lot. So I just want to say if you're here, if you're watching this right now, I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. And I just hope that y'all stay along for the ride. Right now we at like 3,400 subscribers. I want to see you here at 5,000. I want to see you here at 10,000. I want to see you here when we hit 100,000. So if you here, just stick around, man. I promise you, we just going up. Like that's it. We going up. I'm teaching y'all everything I know. We gonna have fun and we just gonna rock out. So you know, just stay here, stay tuned, follow me along on this day, and let's get it in. I'm gonna ask him if I can record inside first, though. I'm gonna walk backwards just for the better lighting. But I'm gonna ask them if I can record inside first before I just go in there recording, cause you know, sometimes they be a little sensitive about that. But yeah, we gonna see see if we can do what it do. This the range that I go to here. It's called Quick Shot Indoor Shooting Range in Buckhead area. So we about to see what's up, man. Yeah, we have before. Welcome back. I need an ID and an autograph. You got your own eyes and ears. Um, no, I need it. Put that right there, print it on. What are you thinking? Did you already kill that boss or no? No. Okay. So you stick with 9 mil? What do you want? Yeah, we're going to stick with 9 mil. And I need some 9 mil. I want that one. Uh, no, that's a CZ. You can see they got everything. They got all the guns over here. I got old school red if you want to ride. I see it right here. They got some cool stuff over here. Some ARs. I know if y'all play Call of Duty, y'all know what that is. A little Uzi. It was a great experience, 10 out of 10. If you in Atlanta, well, I'll say eight out of 10. Let me not say 10 out of 10. I'll say eight out of 10 because the only thing that I don't like is, um, it's just more personal preference. Like I just don't necessarily like indoor ranges, but as far as the experience of it being an indoor range, I would give it 10 out of 10 for sure. Every time. So, I'm about to um, pack this up in the truck real quick and then I'll catch y'all later. All right, y'all, so I just got home from the gun range. I'm about to go downstairs, do like a quick little workout. And then we're gonna go to the photo shoot. I got a photo shoot that it's supposed to be at nine, but of course, you know, they need a little bit more time. So um, I'm gonna head there probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock, which honestly it kind of worked out perfectly because I did need the time to be able to um, get this last workout in for the day. I try to work out at least two times a day. Um, on Saturdays, I'll lift and then I go to Hills for ATL. On regular days, I'll lift and then I'll run like just some kind of cardio and then later in the day i'll do like a little stretch or something like that just because i like to keep my body moving all day um i do have a goal so i'm trying to hit that goal but 
yeah, on Saturdays, um, hills for ATL is more than enough cardio. <laughs> So all I gotta do is lift after, you know, doing heels. But yeah, if you haven't seen the Hills for ATL content, go to um, my Instagram, because I'll be posting a little Hills for ATL content on there too. If you're in Atlanta, come out there. I think this is the last month that they're doing it, um, October. So I don't know, but if you out there, come out there. Let's have some fun, let's work out. Or shit, if you live in Atlanta, you just trying to work out with me, you trying to have some fun, then let's do it. But yeah, I'm about to go downstairs, do this little workout, and then I probably will just see y'all at the photo shoot. Y'all don't need this. Y'all don't need to see me working out all day. <laughs> like literally, I, I've told y'all my day is so boring. But yeah, so I'ma stop saying yeah. So I'ma see y'all, and I'ma just see y'all. That's what I'm saying. All right, child. So we out here with the birthday girl. Say what's up. Say what's up. Say what's up. It's been a minute. <laughs> About to take exactly. some pictures. Okay, you want vlog content? Man, I got to be. Oh, it's a dude. Okay, you got a drip though. Your key. Dang, I'm too close. Oh, he opened it for us. He fucking with us. So we're going to take some pics in here just to kind of see. That boy going crazy. Alright, so let's do... What in here do you like? What do you see that you like? too much flashing though because okay. they start to get sensitive when you flashing too much. Okay. You like this the bar? Yeah, the bar scene. Okay. Yeah. What's she like? Zion sent me just a little LED and I got my Canon R5 with the EF 1.4. Yeah. I thought I told you that before. I swear I told you that. Okay, family, let's talk. So, I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice might sound a little crazy, but I know you're probably asking why is he using a constant light like this little light versus using a speed light or something that's gonna flash well honestly i live in atlanta and when it comes to certain locations it's a little sketchy when it comes to using a flash um especially because i'm using a speed light now if the flash was on the camera like built into the camera it would be a little different because it doesn't look as professional but for me to have the full speed light and to be blasting it and pointing at the ceiling and all that other stuff it starts to become a little bit too much of a distraction and i didn't want to get kicked out got to see what it's looking like oh y'all can't see it out here but i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like when i get to the computer i'm gonna put the pictures on the screen also, when it comes to using the constant light, it's just a lot easier. Like, I don't have to be concerned with switching up my settings as far as the, the light power and stuff like that. I can literally just point the light where I want it to be. As you see right here, what I'm doing is I'm just basically kind of feathering it off. So instead of pointing it directly at her, I was kind of feathering it off to the side. And even right here, I'm pretty far from her. And this, this light is really small, but it's still very powerful. So 
don't think that you have to have this huge flash all the time like literally just use the available light sources that you have even if it's the light that's naturally in the building I was switching locations. So as I can tell, you don't need a lot. Literally, I just have this little pocket light and my camera. So stop thinking that you need a whole bunch of gear to be able to make great images. It doesn't take a lot. Now, when you're using a small light like this, you might have to bump your ISO up a little bit more. Um, the lens that I was using was the Canon 50 millimeter f1.4. So the aperture goes pretty um, shallow. Like I can make the picture pretty bright with just the aperture alone. Um, but that does help a lot. So because this light just isn't as powerful. Um, but it definitely got the job done. Um, as you guys can see, I got the pictures popping up on the screen. So you can see how they're coming out um, while I'm shooting. And um, I'm also about to just drop the edits so you guys can see what the edits look like. Now, I didn't really do like a full, full edit um, because she wanted them pretty much the same night. So I didn't really have much time to do everything I wanted to. But uh, this is pretty much how the final result came out. Birthday weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I look 20 points a month. You say you look what? 20 points a month. You want the more if I give you a thing? Uh, I'll be something in a straight up. Rock. I'm gonna give you a straight up. Oh, we could have just did that. Oh, right here? Yeah. Force me to go to the gym is crazy. <laughs> It's hard. 